Well, I think there is um, enormous symbolism and a lot of substance in the three countries that he's chosen. Uh, on the last trip to Africa, he went to Ghana, right. and there was just a lot of excitement about that, but also a lot of disappointment that he didn't go to some of the other countries. This time, he has chosen a Francophone country in West Africa, mm -hmm. a country that's been just deeply engaged in, a, in, a, in support for democracy mm -hmm. over the last few years, and people are kind of excited about that. Um, there's regional balance. He is going to be in South Africa, and of course you can't, you can't really not go to South, not Africa. Go to South Africa because it is Africa. the powerhouse on the African continent. Mm -hmm. And there's symbolism there because of what Mandela means, because of what uh, South Africa has done with its democracy over the last few years, and the possibilities. Uh, and then, of course, there's Tanzania. Right. And Tanzania is both appreciation for its regional importance, mm -hmm. but appreciation for its um, trade importance, for its um, democracy, mm -hmm. and in East Africa, it's an anchor area. So I'm sorry that he's not going to Kenya, <laughs> but I think uh, Tanzania was a wise choice too.